Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, uh, we're going to be doing a live reaction for me for the ban list that just came out. Um, I did get a whole bunch of text messages like all day long saying, Seto, Seto, the ban list is out, the ban list is out, oh my gosh, you know, tell me what you think, or pay, you know, posts on Facebook and things of that nature. And Thank you all my friends and everything you know, for people who were just telling me about it. And I just decided because I've never done a live reaction of the band list before and I've seen other people do it and I'm like well maybe one day I'll get the chance to do it and I decided that this time will be the time that I actually did it so I disconnected from Facebook today uh, I did post on Facebook that the band list was out but I did not look at the band list um, I knew it was legit because I saw I, I, I saw reliable sources but I didn't look at comments I just saw I just posted band list is out on my Facebook page and I left it at that so I could do the live reaction this evening and pretty much I just wanted to do that and I'm hoping they didn't hit two of my decks that I actually want to profile for you guys um, tomorrow Saturday and Sunday but if that's not the case then I'll just have to read two of those decks but I'm just hoping they don't hit some of the cards but we'll uh -huh. see as you can see here as we look at the ban list here Stratos is still banned and he's still in ban camp um, Cyber Sign is still banned apparently, and Towers is still banned for some weird reason. Let's see here, we got Performance Pal Juggler and Push Fire. I miss Damage Juggler, but I'm happy he's kind of banned now. He's too good, and Push Fire, too broken of a card at the time. Those were to be expected. From what I've been told, you know, and if you read what they originally Konami announced for the uh, the uh, well, Let's just call it an emergency ban list. Um, when they announced that, you know, over a month and two months ago, almost now, um, they did state that they were going to adjust it accordingly when they made the new ban list. So they did that. Now they decided that these cards are still broken, so let's keep them on the ban list. So let's keep going down the list here. See what else we have. My Bay El Shabar construct is still banned. With uh, right next to. Wait, where's Thousand Eyes? Thousand Eyes, the, 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 wait, wait, Chanel Construct is not the, wait, did they bring Thousand Eyes Restrict back? Maybe they did like the, I don't know. I think they did. They must have. Because it's not on the, <laughs> for over a decade, Thousand Eyes Restrict, restrict for a long ass time was the only banned fusion monster and then El Shadal Construct joined it back in November and now Thousand Eyes Restrict is not there anymore it's back oh my gosh did they limit it? were they bring it to 3? what did they do with it? oh my gosh I'm interested to see he's off the ban list Pegasus people rejoice <laughs> Thousand Eyes Restrict has returned to us <laughs> after a decade of, uh, since GOAT format <laughs> wow that card got banned when I was, what, 2003? And I'm 26. I was 13 years old, and now I'm 26. That's a long-ass time. <laughs> Telenite Polymaeus, still forbidden. Broken card. Card's really good. It makes decks go into things that they shouldn't go into. Chicken get... What the fudge? Forbidden new chicken games chicken game this card <laughs> I just snorted <laughs> I snorted like a pig oh my gosh they banned chicken games okay I mean I know when chicken games first came out I was like oh I know people were talking about this is a degenerate card it should get banned yada 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 and apparently a year later almost it's gotten banned Half a year later, that is. Well, that's fine by me. I don't play it in any of my decks. I have the card, but I don't think it costs me anything to get it. That's fine. I mean, I know it helps a lot of degenerate decks. I never liked the card to begin with, but I mean, it's banned. It's banned. I could care less. I, I'm happy about that. That's a that, that's cool. That's cool. Gateway of the Six is still banned. Bring that back to one, please, right away. Chop, chop, suey. 
Monster Reborn, why are you still banned? Even though we have more broken cards here. New, forbidden. Wavering Eyes! Ooh! Ooh! Kevin like. Kevin likes that band. I like that. I like that. That card's too damn good. I could have seen it go into one, but band, you won't hear any complaints from me. I don't like that card. It's too good of a card. I was sick and tired of actually just seeing people just set random pendulums and just go wavering eyes and stupid shit. Uh, Solemn Judgment. I wonder if that card could ever come back. That's just me. Unban all the forbidden, unlimited these legs and forbidden cards. Artifact Mortal Tech is still in the ban on the limited list. Graph, Seer, Genix, Allied Boyman. Lester Pendum, the Draco Slayer, he's still on the limited list uh, from bringing brought over from the, um, I guess you could say, uh, the emergency ban list. Monkey Keyboard, yeah, that's cool. Skull Crabat Joker. I wish that card would be at two, but I understand why it can't be because it's an amazing searcher. It searches, you know, a whole bunch of different things. It searches Odd Eyes, Magicians, Performer Pals. It's a new age Stratos. There's a part of me that wants to see it at two, but I understand why it's at one. And I agree why it should be at one. New Limited Wisdom Eye. Why would you hit Wisdom Eye? Why? Why would you limit Wisdom Eye? That doesn't make logical sense to me right there. Okay, I don't get that. Okay, I understand if this was December or early January, but this is April, and Magicians really haven't done anything, and Wisdom Eye hasn't done anything. I know in the OCG, it's been hit, you know, to one, and it stayed at one, and I understand, you know, it's a good card, but what have Magicians done? <laughs> that's my question what have magicians done I mean are you afraid that magicians are going to become meta now I mean I haven't seen anything in the limited section screaming uh, you know burning abyss or anything of that nature so I don't see anything that would cause magicians to be more meta I think Konami of the TCG just hates pendulums <laughs> um, they just been hitting pendulums left and right. My gosh. Any pendulum deck that raises its head, it seems like they're going to chop it off. My gosh. I mean, Quill Pulse, they got their head chopped off. You know, freaking magicians now have got their head semi chopped off. They're still a viable deck, especially because they can use Odd Eyes Magicians. So they, they, they have, and they're going to be getting new cards in the future. So it will be a viable deck. But, uh,. Not competitively, I don't know how much, but dang. I think that card could go go back to two or three in maybe a year or so. So keep an eye on Wisdom, my magician. Elder Entity Norden is now limited. That means I cannot profile for you guys tomorrow my Medulce deck. Screw that. that. Well, that's fine. I can just replace it with something else I wanted to put in the deck anyways. I had like other ideas. I had been playing with the deck for like over like two weeks. So I was like, eh, these are the other cards I want to try out, but I was going to profile them. It just means I'm going to have to redo the video this Wednesday and upload it maybe next week or this later on this week. But yeah, that's fine. Just means I have to put that off for a little bit longer. But um, I wonder if they hit Instant Fusion. And there she be. There he be. Pegasus be proud. Scapegoat format. Yes, yes. Thousand Eyes Restricted is back at one. Freaking took long enough to freaking get that card. It's been it's been on the freaking ban list since 2003, the fall of 2003, if I remember correctly, like the September ban list of 2003, if my mind does not deceive me. And it is now 2016. It's been on that list for a decade. My gosh, it's good to see you back. And I'll definitely, probably, once pre-preparation of rights comes out, you betcha. I'll try to build a build where you can use Relinquish and Thousand Eyes Restrict just for funsies. Uh, Ignister... <laughs> okay there. Uh, <laughs> uh, Seto Kaba approve of this 
Ignis the Prominence, the Blast and Brigo Slayer, being limited. I hate that card. I really, really like that artwork of the card as an ulti, but I hate that card to death. Ooh, I hate that card. And the thing is, I wonder if they hit Draco face off. Because they've hit Luster Pendulum, they've hit Ignister to one, and I wonder if they touched uh, Draco face off. Because we're still getting more, you know, Draco Slayer stuff in the next couple of sets. We're getting some in Shiny Victories, we're getting some in Dark Illusions. So for another half quarter of the year, we're going to still get Draco Slayer stuff. And I'm going to take a wild guess and say that in the November set, whatever it's called, you know, we're going to get some more Dragon Slayer stuff. So I'm just kind of surprised they're hitting all this Dragon Slayer stuff. But whatever. You're not going to hear me complain. I think it's a broken card. It should be definitely at one. Um, Book of Moon is still limited. Bring that back so I can use it with freaking... Oh, what's... Draco face off. <laughs> Speak of the devil. It's limited. <laughs> well... I'm not going to complain about that. That card was a very, very, very good card right there. That was a very good card. It definitely deserves to be limited. Draco Faceoff does, for sure. Monster Gate, Regeki, what else? New, limited. Reasoning. They hit Reasoning. Infernoids, I think, are dead. <laughs> Unless somebody can come up with some very... I wonder if that's going to drop the price of Omega... A little bit more so I can pick up a second one. I don't know. But, yeah, I never liked the card recently. It's fine. I always seem to be in, like, OTK-centric decks where it was the deck revolving around reasoning. I mean, I remember I did use it at one point in time in um, Six Samurai. And this is back before the legendary Six Samurai came out. So this is back when Yachi and, you know, Grandmaster were, like, and, and Great Shogun Sheen were kind of like the boss monsters of the deck originally. That is where I played reasoning, reasoning in originally, but um, yeah, that's cool. I haven't seen any monarchs, Cosmo hits, Burning Abyss hasn't seen any hits. Uh, it looks like just the Pendulum deck got hit, and some other decks along the way. New limited. Um, sorry guys about that. My sister's, one of my girlfriend's moms came in, but I just saw that right as she said that I got quiet. Upstart Goblin got limited to one. I'm sorry about that interruption, guys, but, um, yeah. Upstart Goblin. Wow. I'm kind of shocked about that. You hit Chicken Games and hit Upstart Goblins. I guess you'll be running a 39 card deck now. I mean, I get, I, 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 I mean, Upstar Goblin was at two at one time, and I know like over a year ago, people were saying, well, maybe Upstar Goblin should get hit or semi limited, and this was like over a year ago when Patrick Hoban first like talked about it, and this was like when, like ages ago, and people said it should get hit then. It's taken over freaking two years for this to get hit almost, or what, a year and a half? Two years, something like that. I don't know if it's. I always thought it was an okay card. If you want to pay the life points, pay the life points, draw a card. Cool, good. I guess they're hitting it because of degenerate decks. They don't want like the Monarch OTK, but I, I mean, it, it's been hit before, so maybe it will come back one day. Um, I think it's possible. This ban list is getting kind of. They're getting kind of. They're putting more stuff on it. They used. They said they were going to try. A Free up the ban list, but they don't free it up anymore. They just put more stuff on it and don't take enough stuff off. My lord, I mean, look how long this thing is for limited section. My gosh. Uh, was limited. Debris Dragon. This is good. I like that. That was hit after the Dragon Ruler format over three years ago. Uh, this will help uh, Skull Servants and Synchrons, maybe. Definitely Skull Servants. Allure of Darkness is at semi-limited. Ooh, you pl Ooh. I mean, I know Dark Decks had their time in the sun like years ago, but ooh. Ooh, yeah. Skull Servants, that would be good in. There's a couple of my Dark Decks I could actually use that card in. 
Yeah, Lure of Darkness. We'll have to pick me up a couple of those common ones. Yeah, I like that. And Emergency Teleport is now semi-limited. They didn't even limit it. They semi-limited it. Well, I mean, that's that's kind of a good thing, I guess. I'm not going to complain about it. I still like the card. I mean, it was that one, I think, were semi-limited at one point in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, like after Teledad format. Um, I forget if it was semi-limited or limited at that time. And uh, now it's semi-limited again. So they did kind of hit Cosmos, but not really. And for the honorable mentions of no longer on the list. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. They did, They just they went from, oh, <laughs> from forbidden to no longer on the list. That is awesome. I cannot wait to see Yugi Mation's van camp of Dark Magician of Chaos. That is going to be freaking hilarious. I know he's been saving something up for when that card came off the list. So I can't wait to see that. Um, may play it in Dark Magicians. Yeah, that, that definitely will probably get played in Dark Magicians for me. Uh, Tragodia was semi-limited. Finally, I've always thought that card should be not anymore for, ugh, for a long-ass time. Advanced Ritual Art. Alinthio will be happy about that, and I'm kind of happy about that. I can play that in Hailed of uh, Ultimateness and maybe Hungry Hamburger for the future. Yeah, I like that. I like this. I like this. I like that. And I like that. And what's the last card here? Crush card. <laughs> Shouldn't have. Ugh, the Arata. If you had told me back in 2007 or 2008 that Crush card at one day one day would be well if you told me back in 2011 that crush card was going to be off the forbidden list and be at three i would have laughed at you but then if you had showed me the errata i probably be like oh i understand <laughs> oh that sucks uh, such a powerful card gets so neutered by the errata it sucks um yeah i like this list the only thing I'm kind of not keen on is Wisdom Eye Magician and uh, Upstart Goblin, excuse me. Those are the two things I'm kind of like 50-50 on. Like, uh, but I have to say, for decks that I did run Upstart Goblin in, except, um, I guess you could say Dark Worlds, but I don't know what I'm going to do with that deck. I was going to poke all that like I was already testing the deck out again. That's going to have to wait because I need to find a more suitable draw engine. <laughs> but, um, hmm, what can I say about this? I feel that a lot of the decks that Upstart Goblin was in, you know, that I used it in, I'll probably just replace with traps like Torrential Tribune because that's a, I've been finding is actually a decent card right now uh, to some extent. So, yeah, yeah, I think I'll be good. And I feel like this was a list where it could have gone either way. It could have been a list that hit a lot of things, or it could be a list that didn't hit many things. And you look at it, I mean, technically, if you include the emergency ban list, they hit a lot of stuff. I mean, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. They hit 15 cards, and they brought a couple of them back, like three or four back from limited or banned section or a couple of them. Yeah, they hit 15 cards. That's a lot. Um, that's a pretty big ban list right there. That's not an adjusted list. That's a big ban list. So if you include that, so I mean... People will say probably, I, I have a feeling people are going to say, they didn't hit Monarchs. They, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Monarchs are good, but they're not going to be. Uh, I mean, for a while they're going to be, but I don't know for how long. And I think even doing Worlds, they're not going to be topping Worlds because they include the OCG ban list. Cosmos are not going to be topping Worlds because Cosmos are not in the OCG. So... What's going to be topping Worlds? Stella Knights again? <laughs> no, I have. That's gonna be worlds is gonna be interesting this year. I wonder what's gonna top worlds. That's my question because, wow, that's gonna be interesting. But that's for a later discussion, I guess you could say. Um, 
But yeah, I'm okay with this list. They didn't hit Cosmos. I have my Cosmo deck now. I'm going to profile for you guys probably next week. I'm probably going to profile my Burning Abyss deck soon. And, uh, and Modulches I'll redo. Cyber Dragons I'll have to redo the video. But besides that, and Monarchs I'll do another video on that. Updating it probably in a couple of weeks. But yeah, I'm good with this list. Tell me what you think about the list, guys. I think it was good. The only thing I wish they would do, give me an end date. Give me a freaking end date. Effective of April 11th to what? September 5th. Just, just give me an end date, Konami, please. But till next time, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. Tell me what you think about the list, guys. And I'll see you next time.